Senior Registrar Giuseppe Pellela, who is our main trainee, and he is going to demonstrate how to do a transannular patch uh, of the pulmonary artery, which is touching at the moment in a patient with tetralogy of fallot. And this is a great training exercise for that. So he's going to use some very small uh, sutures and a special patch that has been designed for that. Giuseppe is an expert, so he will do a great job. So he's going now through the through the patch. I'm just going to hold it with my hands, but uh, he's going through the corner. So in this material, you probably need to go a bit away from the edge. So what we want to check here is if we, if the material that we are using resemble the normal body material. I think that you can bring it down after this, I think. So the, as you can see, the, the suture have to be spaced absolutely perfectly within millimeters of each other, because the, what we need to avoid is any bleeding, which will be a very high pressure inside the What do you think? It's still okay. very soft material, the silicon, the, the patch and the, and the heart. And the heart. And there's a but it's quite good similar, feeling. it's a good feeling. Isn't it? And you can even uh, tear it even easily, so it's good to train how to don't tear yeah. tissue. So, what, as Giuseppe clearly says, is that if you one of the keys of working with small babies is that the tissues, the arteries, are very, very fragile. <clears throat> and this material is giving us the sensation that you cannot be too rough. So you have to be very delicate, which is an excellent way to train. Otherwise, the, this can tell very easily. As you can see, that's a good way to train in which the space in between each suture is exactly the same. And the distance to the edge is exactly the same. That is perfectly demonstrated. It's a good uh, feeling, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the silicon is a very soft. Because one of the um, issues with simulations and surgery is that you can simulate the defects, meaning the holes, but the actual feeling of the, when you do the operation, is incredibly important. So in this particular case, it's probably one of the best materials that we have tried.
Actually, they just double that hand chance, too. Yeah. Perfect. So now we have finished, nearly finished with one side. <coughs> it's coming to this side. As you will understand now, and this is in front of us, but in reality, when we do the operations, it's quite inside the chest. It's very different, the, slightly different the position of the heart. So it's normally it's, uh, a bit more dem difficult. I'm trying to twist uh, the needle holder in my right hand in the way that the needle does the curvature, passing the needle to the tissue without uh, tearing it. And uh, this is a very good material to, to train for suturing the simulating the tissues more baby. So obviously for heart operations, this is, uh, before you get to this stage of the operation, we need to connect the baby or the patient to the heart-lung machine, which is a, a procedure on its own right, which is essentially connecting tubes or candelas in different parts of the heart. Yeah, you just move to the yeah. Hopefully, it will not uh, set. So, this art was reused. And Imagine that when it's the first time, it will be a lot better. Yeah. But so far, one of the uh, significant difference for simulation is once again the uh, texture of the tissues are very, very similar. What would be the normal thickness of the patch that you would use? That probably will be half in uh, thickness of that one, if, if more than that. But more important is, you see, when he's going through the, through the artery, or the supposed to be the artery, it's so flexible that it's, it's, it is similar. <clears throat> so you can demonstrate yourself by just be rough and trying to make a, just trying to, you see, how can you very easily make a hole there? So you need to be as delicate as when you do the proper operation the real operation, which is absolutely crucial for the training part. If I do a stitch in a bad way. Yeah, so that's a bad. See. You see how it there? It is here. So if, if I do that, I didn't realize, you may bleed afterwards. Yeah. So in, in real life, that's why it's a really good advantage of this material. That's what we feel that. The sim uh, for the simulation. So if we imagine that this can be done, um, you know, as a training, for training purpose, you know, every day. So when they come to the real operation, uh, Mr. Pelela will be very proficient straight away. And he is future. already, but anyway, but to, <laughs> to be even better. In future, obviously, the idea will be to print patient-specific models. Mm. Exactly. So if you print a specific patients, and then you can do 
the operation before, plan the size of the patch that you need to use, mm -hmm. and the, uh, and in that way, um, so it's kind of personalized medicine, isn't it? in a way. When you think uh, uh, in real life, uh, this is all full of blood. So there's blood every, in most places. And when you finish this procedure, so this part of the patch, despite of the pressure inside, will be probably about, a, you know, easily 100 millimeters of mercury. So it's a high pressure and blood inside. The stitch, uh, they have to be incredibly accurate so that there is no any leak of blood anywhere. So the distance, the cannot be any holes. When you imagine that when you have a tiny cut in your skin, you bleed, mm -hmm. this is the same or worse. So it needs to be incredibly accurate. Well, so that needs to be a correct amount of tension. Tension and everything. The other thing is the suture. So the other way is you, what I'm doing is following the suture. So that's what you do as an assistant. Mm -hmm. So if I follow the suture not in the correct way, this suture will be loose I see. and they will leak in between the sutures. And that's part of the training as well. But that, that's a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, transannular patch of a, of a pulmonary artery. It's beautiful. So it looks great. But over here you cannot test, but under normal circumstances you will, the blood is circulating inside, so any blood will come out of here if you don't do it properly. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, as you, you know, Giuseppe have designed the patch in the perfect way because if you do it too short or too wide, this will compromise all the structures that are next here. So you need to, as you know, you need to dis trim and cut the patch in the perfect position for that patient. And we are talking about a slightly bigger, and this is a good position. Sometimes they need to go in this way, so your patch has to be a slightly curved. But this is a perfect to to practice, to train. It would be nice to, to stitch the pulmonary artery because we are very, very thin. Yeah. And here we can cause damage in case the stitching technique is not perfect. So that's... So the next... Uh, so that's, that's pretty good. I think that the inside of the heart will be difficult for you to see, isn't it? 